Hi, I'm John Corvino. Marriage equality opponents sometimes make a slippery slope argument. If we allow same-sex couples to marry, then why not polygamy? Why not incest? Why not bestiality? I have to say I find this argument perplexing. I mean, what does one thing have to do with the other? Polygamy can be heterosexual or homosexual, and the societies that practice it tend to be among the least accepting of homosexuality. Incest can be heterosexual or homosexual. Bestiality, I suppose, can be heterosexual or homosexual. I prefer not to think about it that carefully. So why are these things any more related to gay marriage than to straight marriage? And people say, well, if you make one change to marriage, why not make any other change? To which my answer is, because each of these things needs to be evaluated on its own merits. Whether it's a good idea to allow people to marry one unrelated person of the same sex is a different question from whether it's a good idea to allow them to marry multiple partners or their relatives or their pets or their kitchen appliances or whatever. Of course, if you marry your kitchen appliances, what are people going to get you as a shower gift? Each of these practices poses its own unique challenges. Take polygamy, which is in fact very common historically, and forget about the problem of remembering all of those anniversaries. I have a hard enough time remembering just one. Polygamy tends to be polygyny, that is, one man with multiple wives. And the societies that practice it tend not only to have rampant sexism, but also serious class differences, where high-status males acquire multiple wives, and then low-status males become virtually unmarriageable. From the standpoint of promoting social stability, this seems to be bad public policy. But look, I'll let the polygamy advocates make their own case, which is different from mine. My case is that it's a good idea for everyone to have someone to marry, which is different from saying that it's a good idea for them to have anyone or anything to marry. And so when people ask me, why not polygamy? I ask them, why do you keep changing the subject? Why doesn't anyone understand us? What?